In this video we'll show you how we can use the machine tool simulator on the part that we created in the previous videos. So we're still in the CAM system now and we've got a single tool and a single go round command which just went round the outside of there. So to run the simulator we press the 3D simulation button here and then from the list of machine tools then we can choose in this case just the standard vertical mill. So the simulator is called up and passed the data that it needs and we're presented with this dialog box. Now here we could set the arbor sizes, the diameter and the length and the holder sizes or we can just use the defaults. The stock allowance is calculated automatically but if we want to change our stock values then we use the stock tab here but in most cases we can just leave the stock as the default values. So to run the simulator we cl simply click simulate and then that loads the machine tool simulator and passes the data file through to it. So in this instance here we've got the uh, full machine shown and if we wanted to we could show the complete machine housing. But the main way of working is either to use the machine focus which is set here or we use the workpiece focus which just gives us the workpiece and the tool. The controls along the top here are just like video controls. This is the slider which controls the speed of the tool and to start the simulation we simply click the run button here. Over on the right hand side if we have the axis control tab selected then it gives us a display of where the tool is and in this window here we see the individual operations being created. So we can speed up or slow down that simulation as we need to. By using the mouse buttons the center wheel gives us zooming in and out. The right hand mouse button gives us a pan and the left hand mouse button gives us a rotate. So we can use these buttons so we can see exactly what's happening. If we wanted to using the slider on the right hand side here we can replay the tool path and see if there are any areas which need any work. If there's any tool collisions between the arbor, the tool shank or the holder then they will be reported under the report tab here but if that's empty then there aren't any collisions. The cutting simulation parameters can be set here and we can set the accuracy of the model. The higher the accuracy set the cleaner the display will be but the longer it will take to simulate and these things do very much uh, depend on the PC that you're using and the amount of memory and the graphics capability. If we wanted to switch on the tool the machine focus we can do that and again we can use the mouse to control the display and even at this stage if we go into axis control we can slide the doors and keep them open. To replay the tool path we use the restart button here and now the tool is staying still and the machine is moving. And we can use the mouse controls as the tool and the simulation are running. The other options that we've got are that we can, the machine housing, we can make it transparent or we can hide it. So if we don't want the machine housing to be shown then we can hide that. If we want to switch on the tool path then we can do and that shows us the center line of the tool. The tool itself can be hidden or it can be transparent and the stock material can also be transparent. 
if we have an STL model of the original part, then that can also be displayed. So when we're finished with the simulation, to close it, we simply use the close button at the top here. And if we wanted to, we could re-simulate using a different stock, or we could change our arbor and holder sizes, and then run the simulation again. But if we're happy with that, we simply exit and go back into the cam system. And if we're finished with that job, we simply close down the cam. If it asks us to save the file away, we do so. And then we go back to the CAD system. And if we're finished with that, we can simply close it down and we will return to our desktop.